Ectolife is a concept for an artificial womb facility designed by Hashem al a biotechnologist and science communicator. It is a futuristic vision of how childbirth could be conducted in the future, using artificial wombs to incubate babies for nine months. The Ectolife facility would be powered entirely by renewable energy and would be able to house up to 30,000 babies at a time. Each baby would be incubated in a growth pod that mimics the exact conditions found inside the uterus. The pods would be equipped with sensors to monitor the baby's vital signs and AI to detect any potential genetic abnormalities. Parents would be able to choose to have their babies genetically engineered before implantation using CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing. This would allow them to eliminate genetic disorders and choose certain physical characteristics for their babies, such as height, eye color, and hair color. Xiaomi CyberDog 2 is a bio-inspired quadruped robot that is powered by NVIDIA's Jetson Xavier NXAI supercomputer for embedded and edge systems. It is a significant improvement over the original CyberDog, with a more compact and lightweight design, more powerful hardware, and a wider range of sensors. CyberDog 2 is equipped with 19 high-precision sensors, including an RGB camera, an AI-powered interactive camera, four TOF sensors, a LiDAR sensor, a depth camera, an ultrasonic sensor, a fisheye lens sensor, a force sensor, and two ultra-wideband UWB sensors. This allows it to navigate its surroundings with impressive accuracy and avoid obstacles. CyberDog 2 is also powered by a more powerful processor than the original CyberDog, which gives it the ability to perform more complex tasks and make decisions more quickly. It can now walk at speeds of up to 1.6 meters per second, carry payloads of up to 1 kilogram, and even do backflips. Pilot manufacturing of wearable sensors is the production of a small batch of sensors to test the manufacturing process and the product design in a real-world environment. This is an important step in the development of new wearable sensors as it allows companies to identify and address any potential problems before beginning mass production. There are a number of factors to consider when planning a pilot manufacturing run of wearable sensors. One of the most important is the type of sensor being produced. Some sensors, such as those that measure heart rate or blood pressure, require a high level of accuracy and precision. Others, such as those that track activity levels or sleep patterns, may be less demanding. Starlink Internet Starlink is a satellite internet constellation operated by SpaceX. It provides high-speed, low-latency internet access to users all over the world, including in remote and underserved areas. Starlink is different from traditional satellite internet services in a few key ways. First, Starlink satellites orbit much closer to Earth at an altitude of about 550 kilometers. This allows for significantly lower latency, or the time it takes for data to travel between the user and the satellite. Second, Starlink uses a mesh network of satellites to route traffic. This means that data can be transmitted from one satellite to another until it reaches its destination. This helps to reduce congestion and improve reliability. Starlink is still in beta testing but it is already available to users in many parts of the world. SpaceX plans to continue adding satellites to the constellation and expanding coverage until Starlink is available globally. Metaverse The Metaverse technology is a collection of technologies that enable the creation and maintenance of a persistent, shared, and immersive virtual world. It is still under development, but it has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with each other and the world around us. Virtual reality headsets create a fully immersive virtual environment that users can interact with as if they were really there. 
Augmented reality overlays digital information onto the real world, allowing users to interact with virtual objects and environments while still being grounded in their physical surroundings. The metaverse is still in its early stages of development, but there are already a number of examples of metaverse platforms and applications. For example, Decentraland is a virtual world where users can buy and sell land, build structures, and create their own experiences. VRChat is a social networking platform where users can interact with each other in avatar form. GiraffeNap is a Japanese company that develops and sells napping boxes that allow people to sleep standing up. The boxes are designed to be ergonomic and space-saving, and they have a number of features that make them ideal for napping in the office or other public spaces. 4-Point Support Posture The boxes support the user's body at four points, the head, shoulders, and pelvis, which helps to reduce muscle strain and promote a comfortable napping experience. Space-saving design, the boxes are relatively small and lightweight, making them easy to place in even the smallest spaces. Ergonomic design, the boxes are designed to be comfortable and supportive, even for users who have back pain or other physical conditions. Privacy, the boxes provide a private and enclosed space for napping, which can be helpful in noisy or busy environments. Flying Whales is a French aeronautic startup that is developing a new type of airship, the Flying Whales which is designed to transport heavy loads to remote locations without the need for airstrips or other infrastructure. The Flying Whales is a hybrid airship, meaning that it uses both helium and electric motors to fly. It is also designed to be environmentally friendly, with a low carbon footprint. The Flying Whales is a massive aircraft with a length of 200 meters and a diameter of 50 meters. It has a payload capacity of 60 tons, which makes it the largest cargo aircraft in the world. The Flying Whales is also very versatile and can be used to transport a wide variety of cargo, including wind turbine blades, construction equipment, and humanitarian aid. Flying Whales is currently developing the Flying Whales in partnership with the Canadian government. The company plans to begin commercial operations in 2025. The James Webb Space Telescope is an international collaboration between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. It is the largest and most powerful space telescope ever built, with a 6.5-meter primary mirror. JWST is an infrared telescope, meaning that it sees light in the infrared spectrum, which is invisible to the human eye. This allows JWST to see objects that are too faint and cold to be seen by visible light telescopes, such as the Hubble Space Telescope. Study the first light emitted after the Big Bang. Understand the formation and evolution of galaxies. Study the formation of stars and planetary systems. Understand the physics of exoplanets and the potential for life beyond Earth. Quantum computing is still in its early stages of development, but it has the potential to revolutionize many fields, including artificial intelligence AI. AI researchers are already exploring ways to use quantum computers to develop new and more powerful AI algorithms. One way that quantum computing could be used to improve AI is in the area of machine learning. Machine learning algorithms are used to train AI models on data. This process can be very computationally expensive, especially for large datasets. Quantum computers could be used to speed up the machine learning process, which could lead to the development of more powerful and accurate AI models. Another way that quantum computing could be used to improve AI is in the area of natural language processing, NLP. NLP is a field of AI that deals with the interaction between computers and human, natural, languages. Nuclear Fusion 
The nuclear fusion is the process by which two or more atomic nuclei join together, or fuse, to form a heavier nucleus. This process releases a large amount of energy, as the mass of the resulting nucleus is less than the sum of the masses of the original nuclei. Nuclear fusion is the process that powers the sun and other stars, and it is a potential source of clean energy on Earth. Nuclear fusion is a very complex process, and it is difficult to achieve in controlled conditions. However, there has been significant progress in recent years, and there are now several experimental fusion reactors in operation around the world. If practical fusion power can be achieved, it would be a major breakthrough in energy production, as it would provide a virtually unlimited source of clean energy.